Is there another chat? There isn't really any more chats, which is a shame. Oh, you can get out of there and then come straight back and dock. Uh, right. So, if I have a look in here, where are most of my fruit and pots? Here. So I'm going to need to start building some buildings in there to get a good manpower recovery rate. Barbarians, where? There. Right, you're going to march there. You can come down and deal with these guys. There, you want to be on skirmishing. I really do need an army in the center. Need more armies. I need more manpower. Sicily's building up a nice fleet. Is Carthage building up? Yeah, he looks like he is building up. Carthage. Rodolfo. You here? God damn you, Rodolfo. Then come straight back. I want you to have four more ships. I need to get support demanded for. Bloody hell. Hmm. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. How friendly are you with, um, Axum? Uh... Indifferent. Okay. How... Well, obviously, like, this isn't... I can't attack him this session, but... If there were to be a war in the future, would you be opposed to that? No. Okay. And also... Eventually, I deign to control most of Arabia, but obviously you have Arabian land that you would be allowed to have because you're Egypt and you're awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further south, don't worry. Okay, but so, like, would you be upset if, like, I conquered past the mood into, like, Leon? Which borders you? Uh, wait, where am I looking? Um, oh, like, yeah, yeah, no, no, you can take that. Yeah, don't worry. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much for the information. Oh, hey, Axum's here. Hello. How are you doing? Is your computer working yet? Uh, my computer is functioning, but or, no, your game. My, my game I just completely destroyed earlier today. <laughs> and I'm fixing it. Um... So yeah, I came here asking Kataba, like, how did the war go between the people that we were fighting? Oh, so your guy peaced out for one city. Oh, that's sad. Um, so I 
I actually couldn't conquer all of them, but they had like a revolt in the middle of the war, so I pieced them out and then I killed the revolt as well. And my nation is looking somewhat stable. I hope. Did the nation yeah. start getting the oh, oh yeah, your nation's fine. Your nation's not like about to collapse or anything if that's what you Okay, good. Um there 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 might be a slight problem though. Um one of the cities that I conquered from Himyar is on um or Africa. It's fine, you can just sell it to me later. Okay. I'll, I'll keep there's only yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. It only it's literally one citizen. Is all yeah, I'd honestly, I'd honestly prefer you to keep it. You'd probably manage it better. Oh, yeah, sorry. I sent up an army up there, and I kind of forgot about it. I, I was fighting the war, and I couldn't stop the barbarians. My apology. That is a massive pirate fleet. Huge. Alright. How am I going to force this guy out of the wall? Because he's definitely going to call in fucking Syracuse. Sicily. So he's got seven. He's got twenty. Hmm. He's got two more rouches in this. So as soon as this reinforces this guy, we're gonna go, we're gonna blockade Rome. We really accept a white piece. Nice. Or marble. Now we'll get some more grain. Get the. So, can I expect being attacked in uh, Crete then? No. Well, that depends. I've sent Rome two white pieces, he's rejected them, so now I feel like you're planning something, so, I mean. He's, you've sent him white pieces? You're not at war with him? Yeah, he took. Uh, he's just accepted it. That's all good. He was a war leader because he'd guaranteed them. Oh, yep. he's very new to the game. I think he just didn't understand that. Ah, okay. I mean, no, no, no. I I'm good. I can see you're building up a fleet, so, you know. My fleet has been about this size the entire time, but okay. Has it? Oh, okay. Hmm. Also, building up a fleet is kind of nothing compared to what you have right Oh, well, if you've got to think 30 ships are in the Red Sea. Because I've got a fucking a stack of 42 pirates in there, which I'm trying to take down. Forty-two pirates, that's excessive amounts. Yeah, seven pirate ships keep spawning in the same place. Just keep your boats at the same place the entire time thing is I've had like five seven sacks spawn elsewhere so I'm going in with 30 ships we'll see what happens these 30 ships have got like minus 25% damage though so we'll see what see what goes on oh, the culture I really wish I had my culture mod because it would be real nice to see breakdowns of my cultures. Lambert is afraid of you. 
<laughs> I mean, I would be afraid <laughs> of me. wins the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if I can get my supply back. Right, so if I declare a naval superiority war, how much war score do I need to enforce a peace on a player? For money. I think it's I think it's twenty-five. Hmm, okay. Might test this on somebody when I get the power to do so. Oh god, I heavily lost that. Heavily. Yeah, so that uh, pirate fleet beat me. Heavily. How? Well, it had 12 ships more than me, but damn. I, I'm i down to 6 ships against that pirate fleet, and that's got 39. So it sunk 24, and I sunk 3. That's rough. Allied with Phrygia? Yes. Interesting. Uh, well, I got what I wanted from Phrygia, and it's kind of blocking the Seleucids now. Because I don't That's want them to get too powerful. Although he's building up a fleet, and I don't know why. Who are the Seleucids? <laughs> or Phrygia? Phrygia. But the AI allies during a war? Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I thought I was gonna easily defeat uh, through the Tania, but that they allied this huge tribe, Celtica, and now I'm in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a bit of annoyance. Yeah, I might as well use this religion to convert quite a few pops. Oh god, nobody wants to support my air. Uh... I mean, she's a bit crap. Hmm. The succession is definitely not safe. She's crap as well. These are all Considering crap. Attacking roads with that um, CB, the naval one, to test it. Now I'm going to attack Macedon for it. No one got any uh, objections to me attacking roads for some money? Uh, go for it. Let me know what happens. I still need to fabricate a claim though, so I'm gonna wait for, until I have the points. Yeah, it's a shame that you have those CBs, but you they're not technically CBs. Yeah. It's not exactly a cause for war when you can't use it to go to war yeah. without penalty. What do you think about the, um, 
when you're in your navy, you can do boarding tactics or ramming tactics. Do you do either of them? I haven't, no. But I feel like I should. I feel like I shouldn't. I do more damage, but I also take more damage. Or, I do less damage, but I also take less damage. Like, what's the point? It just seems like it's all going to be completely even, no matter what. I think it depends on the maths, because it's like in um, EU4. Fire damage given is better than having fire damage received, even if it's the same percentage because of the way the maths works. I think you get like uh, okay. 0.1 more for the offensive than you do for the defensive one. So I'd have to actually look at the maths for it and see. Well, let me know when you find out. we Will do. Yeah, because Athens and Rhodes have 40 ships between them. I also have 40 ships. Oh. Well, good luck for that. Still need the oratory, though. The oratory is a pain to get. Yeah. It's down to the positioning roll, then. Good point. Oh, yeah. If I get bad positioning, then it's not going to go well. But if I get good positioning, it's going to go really well. Defensive modder is better than offensive modifier in E. Apparently, is it? Because I don't know. Uh, we did the maths for the custom nation one, and um, it worked out that it was offensive was better, which is why everyone's got offensive in it. Well, I'll let you know when he's explained it. Unless they've horribly done the maths wrong, then, which would be funny. It would be hilarious. Offensive will take one damage, assuming everything else is even. Hmm, they'd worked out that it was you the way around. Uh, I think? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not really a, a, a math, you know, working out all the individual little details kind of yeah. guy. Oh, fuck. Assuming everything else is even and you. If you take 10% less, 1.1 damage reduced by 10%. Oh shit. I forgot I had a truce for Macedon. Fuck me. Did you just lose a stab or not manage to go to not managed to go to war. I was going to do naval superiority. And now we are fucking... <laughs> do it on the salute kids. Fucking shit the bed on that now. Oh, I can just imagine. He'll just come storming into the chat like, what is... <sighs> I mean, I would, but I've got no fleet there now and I've got too many pirates. There's now 46 of them, so... Well, the pirates are... Just think of them as defending your region. Can anyone remember where For Honor and Glory was? Was he Arcadia? Yes, he was. Amber, uh, I don't go for this remaining session. Okay, no worries. Alright, well, see you guys next week. See you later. Alright, bye. See ya. See ya. Finally, I turned around this war. <laughs> oh, you in a big player war? I mean, because Carthage? No, it's. Is it a isn't, isn't a player, no. It used to be, I think. No, it, it, it is in the other mold. Oh, so yeah, you turned out... You turned around this big war against the AI, then. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know why you turned it around? Because uh, the AI got attacked by someone else. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Just 
shit the bed. Uh, thank you for the raid, Rose. You just scared the crap out of me. Yet again. Maybe you should, you know, change that. It's the declare war noise. I can't help it. <laughs> what am I going to do? You know, you're going to be an old man streaming. That's going to give you a heart. I'm sick. Let me alone. Well, that cash is going to come in handy. Fucking Fridge is asking me to attack Slukid, so I've got low manpower. <laughs> Mercs are good, but then give me the bloody money for them. He doesn't have as much money as you do. Or he has less manpower than you do. <laughs> well, yeah. I need to think about the future. I guess Fridge is wanting his land back. Yeah, also. I think he, he lost land, didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah, I think he, did. he did. Yeah. Also, Bactri is wanting to go to war, so. Against the Seleucids? Yep. <laughs> get Iggy in it as well. <laughs> Seleucids get wrecked in uh, two different multipliers. Iggy was actually <laughs> going to. Change that. I'm not going to change that. Iggy was going to, but I talked him out of it. Because I didn't, I didn't want to dogpile on Seleucids. Yeah, that's fair enough. I was like, if you get involved, I'm going to have to help out the slew kids and go to war, so. Alright, hello new people, thank you very much for coming to watch, we're just doing some 30-ish player multiplayer, and um, I'm playing as Sicily, and it's going quite well, I think, I hope, we'll see. Hope you stick around, I'm just building up my fleet, it needs to be bigger. He's like, you can send me a 10k stack, that's all I want. I'm like, yeah, but I've got a lot of trade with slew kids. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the things you don't really take into account when you're playing war. Yes, my economy is great. Let me go to war with this person. Oh, wait. Uh, a lot of my economy is based on trade with this person's ally, which I'm no longer going to be, ally uh, be able to trade with. Hmm. That's happened more than once to me. Literally 50% of my trade, of my imports, is with the Seleucids. Moa, it's it's actually been rather stable. Like, it takes a long time to get people in and going. Mostly because we've got some Australians and their internet is horrifying. Um, but once we're all in and playing, it seems to be kind of okay. It's just fine. At least I've not seen any problems. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But yeah, this is the player map mode at the moment. Uh, we had a guy in Arcadia here. He's just dropped out. We had a guy extra in Britain who's didn't show up today. Same with another guy in uh, Spain. Uh, who else? Did we ever have a Parthia or a Parnia? I don't think so. No, we didn't. That's the other MP. All right. Oh no, I'm too far away from roads to send a bloody um, <laughs> thing. And I can't do it on Athens because they're guaranteed by literally everyone. Balls. Yeah, no. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Gotta protect the Athenians. Yeah, yeah. Did I start integrating these? Can you show you how Suonia is doing? Sure can. Uh, so Suonia started up here, and is here, and here, and here, and also here, and here, and also in Italy, right here. They're, um... He's in Italy? They spread. Yeah, they're in Italy. Check between Etruria and Rome. Oh they're in Narnia. God. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. No fear whatsoever. I guess I could just no CB roads. It's only two freaking um, stability. Yeah.
Yeah. Two stability. I'm, I'm still positive stability, so it's it's not even a problem. Shit, Sluka's so got his manpower up to a thousand a month. Fuck. Yours is still higher, is it not? No. Oh god, no. I'm only just starting to work on mine now. I was focusing on uh, research first. Which I think I'm the highest research for a major power at the minute. Yes. Remember, if there's no perm DLC, will it be an audio of one? I don't know what the DLC um, is going to look like in the future. Oh, I cannot say. Audio of DLC. Fucking Iggy's going to be all over that. There goes my headphones. There's money. Mm, nah. Oh, hello, Navy. My 50 versus their 41. Let's see what happens. Oh, you're in a war? Yeah. Where? Um, North of Crete. Oh, I see. There's a naval battle going on. Wait, you got the no ships have sunk yet. Oh no, he started loot. He's lost one. Yeah, my positioning is 94 versus their 57. Yeah. Even dice roll at the minute as well. Oh, we've lost the same amount of ships though. No, I think I've started pulling it ahead. Yeah, 1 to 5, 1 to 6, 2 to 6. Oh, part the, the Athenian navy's run away. Let's get some general loyalty going. Yeah. This is where I just teleport behind you with my uh, 90 ships. Oh yeah, 100%. That's totally going to happen now. You will take a horrible stab hit though. Yeah, because I guarantee you. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, that's how you know that I'm not, you know, being hostile against you. I just, you know, took part of Crete to be close to you. <laughs> it is a nice little cuddle. I mean, it could be nicer. I could bring my army over to Syracuse. I'd really rather you didn't. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, and I think... Oh, no, his army did win. Rhodes has an army in the Nestotic League. I think it's his entire army. No, it's not. Not even close. Yeah, okay. In his own little war. Yeah, he, ah. he attacked the Naxos people. Is there a way to set AI settings? Not that I've seen. Ah, oh. uh, fuck me. Where is his navy? I can't, I can't, his navy ran away and I can't find it. <laughs> oh no, I found it. Begun. Oh, fucking hell, Mario jumped in. For fuck's sake. Now I'm gonna have to go jumping on that. Wait, no. It's not. Oh, wait, no, it's claims. Ah. I don't see any war. Yeah, no, it's the bloody the claim icon. I always mistake that for being at war. Right, right. Yeah, understandable.
No one has new naval superiority. I've just demonstrated the fact that I do. What is this box? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Um, declaring war also puts your um, expenses back up if you turn it down, like fort costs and stuff. That's good. It is, but I've forgotten all about it, which is bad. <laughs> Get them training camps built. Get this manpower up. From one battle plus one. Ugh. Looking yeah. forward to seeing that change. <clears throat> it's going to be changed in 1.1. Blockade and ports is nice as well. You get a lot of income from that. Well, depending on where you I will do it. just as soon as uh, my enemies don't have a fleet to contest me, then I'm just going to split up my navy and it's going to blockade a bunch of ports. Oh, Fridge is moving into position. Thing is, he doesn't want to declare war just yet because Bactria can't declare an independence war because Lucas are at war. Which I really don't like that. you're in an independence war. Oh, you have to wait for that, right? Yeah. Just gonna do some minor siege as well, might as well. As long as you don't siege down mainland Athens. No, I'm not. I'm Good. sieging down Corfu right now. Why would I even. Do Are that? the islands of Athens okay with you? None of Athens. None of Athens at all? No. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> I will leave Corfu then. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, does he not? Okay, they're all loyal. That's why. Should get more income going in. Go for a commerce income. In income? Omen. Thingy. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sicily is threatening Athenian independence. Gondor calls for aid. What? Bollocks. <laughs> That's what I just got off Athens. <laughs> as soon as I can sue him for peace, I will.
Oh, I've got that on that trade policy here. Alright, you can go. I also captured one of his uh, people. Religious conversion. Do you set him free? I'm not talking about Athens people. Oh, okay. You can execute <laughs> him then. Well, Hang on. Let me have a look at my characters. Take his wealth well first. It's uh, demerited. He has 72 gold. Oh, okay. Don't take I his can't wealth, take then. his money. That's a shame. I imagine I can't take his money because his money is currently in roads. They need like, to. Have... He's not taking his money with him on ships. As far as I've seen, like it, they need to have it over 300 wealth for you to take money. Uh, that's true as well. I just need to sit. You'll do. Uh, and I will bring you over it. Are you no longer regional? Nice. Good job. I'll unmute him. I muted him last time because he had a really, really bad mic. So. He's <clears throat> reached 400 pops too. Oh, okay, no, he still has a bad mic. Yeah, he's getting muted. Nice, good stuff. <laughs> Roads are offering me white peace. <laughs> I'm sieging their capital. <laughs> I don't think you understand how how peace works. It's it's uh yeah, I mean the P. I'll send I'll send them a peace. Actually, let me send Athens one. May I can send one in May next year. Let's get all Moria doing and just building up his manpower by the looks. I can only get 188 gold from him. Well, there's your peace deal. And Rhodes has been sieged. Probably the quickest sieging of Rhodes in history. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, he accepted the peace after I stole some Rhodes, uh, Rhodians to, to come back to Syracuse with me. I don't know how many I actually killed or took. I didn't look. He's now he's only on negative five hundred. Uh, sorry, negative. I didn't even hurt him that much. Where is this? Up oh, there. Oh, you could get some nice buildings. Manpower. Hey, weekend. Possible release dates for a, a Ryazan? No, Ryazan's probably not going to be in the game as well. Or either, even. <gasps> oh wait, no, it's just for a province. Okay, I thought it was going to be an overpowered event. 50% commerce income. Oh yeah, that would have been nice. 
It's only temporary though, isn't it? Uh, I get it for five years in a really shit province. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I might do the same strategy on likes of Emporion Massalia. Go for it. It doesn't do dick, but it's fun. I can't wait to do it in Macadon, because we've got 1800 gold. Oh, Phrygia's gone to war. And Bactria's gone to war. 